welcome to a day late, but welcome to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts! That's right, we're a day late, but we're not a week late at least. <laughs> or a month. Yeah. <laughs> So let's get started. We have a few new people to welcome to the community. For Fuge One. <laughs> on. For Fuge One On. Welcome to the neighborhood. If I said it wrong, please let me know and I'll fix it next week. More than likely. Jerome. Am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. Jerome190573, shout out to you! Aaron D1234, welcome to the neighborhood! Frankie's Videos, welcome back! Jasmine Herrera, welcome to the neighborhood! Julia Rosa Selva, welcome! Welcome to the neighborhood and go check out her channel. DV8 Entertainment, welcome to the neighborhood. Lewis Times, welcome to the neighborhood. Chris Roby, welcome to the neighborhood. Chris also has a channel, make sure you go by and check them out. Alex University, welcome to the neighborhood. Also, Alex has a channel. Make sure you go by and check him out. And Puck Brothers, welcome to the neighborhood. They also have a channel. Make sure you go by and check them out. That's all the ones we have to welcome to the neighborhood. So let's move on to new and exciting news. Music and Lyrics 15. Happy 80th birthday to her grandma. Delta Knight has an Etsy shop and a pixie set. I don't know what a pixie set is, but I am going to leave links to both of those. It's photographs. It's photographs? Yes. Oh, it's photographs. Either in the sky or in the description down below or both. So make sure you go by and take a look at Delta Knight's. Etsy shop and pixie set. Destiny Swan. Congratulations, Destiny. Her husband, Kelso, is finally home after three years and two months. I can tell you, she's pretty happy. Okay. Now, for thoughts and prayers. Tanya Ray is doing okay after her surgery. But unfortunately, her stepfather passed away on January 20th at 9.30 in the morning. So thoughts and prayers to Tanya Ray for a quick recovery from her surgery and for the loss of her stepfather. At least he is finally at rest and at peace. Smoking Ham's Country Cooking. Tornadoes were hitting all around their area, so thoughts and prayers to them and all their neighbors that they are safe and can salvage whatever they can from the tornadoes. Bambi S. Everybody has been wondering what's been going on with Bambi's son, Christopher. We got an update. After a month-long stay in the hospital due to respiratory issues that led up to CPR being done five times in, EP, in ER, he is finally home and on the mend. He came home with a trach, a tracheotomy, this time to better manage the massive secretions that he produces. It has been quite a challenge, but he is still being the drill sergeant that he always is. Laugh out loud. Harsh teacher that he is. I am still in training, and he, by the way, is teaching me along with his sister quite well. Um, Bambi's daughter, Kirsty is studying to be a nurse. We have respiratory coming in on a needed basis and do daily breathing treatments and suctioning. He was surely with miracle patient with the doctors in awe and disbelief that he recovered so well from his major trauma that he went through. So thoughts and prayers go out to you Bambi and your entire family, especially Christopher. We're so glad that he is on the mend and that he is at home and things are going well for you. Mm. So, 
those are the thoughts and prayers that we have. Last week, I asked, my question is, if you could live in any period of history, when would it be and why? And we had a few interesting answers. Susie here picked the Renaissance period. She loves the dresses, the royalty, the dragons, and the castles. And the dragons. Tanya Longley picked the 50s, going to stock hop. Sock hops. Sock hops. That's what I said. Sure, dear. <laughs> Terry Johnson said she wouldn't pick any period. She's spoiled, and she likes the modern conveniences of the cell phones, the internets, the medical advancements, etc. And she said maybe she would pick the 70s, because that's when a lot of her family members were still alive. The Abyss says George Washington error. <laughs> BMBS also says the Renaissance period, the 1800s, love Victorian dresses, vintage styles, homes, and decor. Destiny Swan picked the 1960s, JFK, Martin Luther King, inspiring wonderful people. And Dougie Style had the most interesting one. He doesn't want to go back to any era because they didn't have indoor plumbing or modern, modern dentistry, painless dentistry. He wants to go forward in technology to find out whether Apple restores the headphone jack on the iPhone. <laughs> so my question for this week is, what do you think is the greatest invention in your lifetime and why? That's all I have, so it is time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Take it away, Okay, so last week's question had to do with the movie It Follows 2014. Um, uh, excellent movie. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and see it. Now, the question was, what does water have to do with this movie? And if you watch the movie, you're going to see something to do with water in, in just about every scene in the movie. It's either a picture on the wall, or they're at a body of water, or in a body of water. It's there all the time. So it very significant to the story. Now, what does it mean? Now, it seems to have sort of like more than one meaning. The, the, the main one, of course, is safety and security. But it also represents purity and chastity, since there's a little added thing in the movie about uh, how the, uh, the demon starts following the girl. Now, those who got that correct were Jess Lucera, Tanya Longley, Terry Johnson, Ubis92882, and Destiny Swan. Okay, tonight's question has to do with George Romero's 2009 movie, Survival of the Living Dead. It is the last in his series of horror films that are about zombies. And it's only the only movie where he actually calls them zombies. And, but it stars an animal that also stars in the first series of a very popular television show. What is that animal and what show is that? There you have it, guys. There's your trivia question and your question of the week. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for every single one of you. We love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up, and we will see you next week on another episode of... Pick in Space. Neighborhood!